Okay, we have a pretty big problem when it comes to plastics. Now, paper, like these ones here, and cardboard, we've got recycling this stuff down to a science. More than half of the paper is recycled, but when it comes to plastic, we're talking less than 10% actually gets recycled. That's a sobering stat for sure, but there's some hope, and it's in the form of artificial intelligence. Every day, the constant crusade continues. The recycling, it's a problem. It's a wicked problem. Many communities are trying to find solutions. Communities, not alone, in the quest to quash a wicked problem. And in that endeavor, one formidable foe remains thus far undefeated. Plastic, we can improve it, but not 100% solve it. Now, to give you an idea just how big the plastic problem is, I came here to Promenade Park under the Harrison Street Bridge of the St. Mary's River. And the amount of plastic that we found littered here in this area in just a few minutes is pretty staggering. In fact, I'm still working to fill this bag up and get this stuff out of here because we know we don't want it to end up in the St. Mary's River or any other waterway. Well, all that plastic, it of course has to go somewhere. Here at Promenade Park, they do have these recycling containers. So we'll pick up the plastic that we found there down by the river and put them in here, see what happens. Over at Purdue University, Fort Wayne, work is underway to make the plastic recycling process smoother. It involves uh, most recent advancements in the technology, AI in particular, and machine learning and it has profound impacts on the community that we live in. So while there is no perfect solution to our world's plastic problem, we're making a dent in it right here in Fort Wayne with this state-of-the-art technology. This single pass sorting uses a camera to figure out what kind of plastic goes where, and it could be a game changer when it comes to recycling plastics. It's called machine learning. Dr. Ben Chen and his team, including a scientist with UHV Technologies, a research and development company in Fort Wayne that came up with the technology and houses it here in their facility, and a Purdue student. They're all working on this prototype together. AI look like some kind of newborn baby, and they need to learn. So most of the time, if we feed more information to it, you need to teach it, right? So you need a lot of data. I collect data as much as I can per day, and then uh, and then other part of my day, I try to uh, fine tune our models. So for AI point of view, this is called a classification. I classify things into two classes, one's good, one's bad. The AI can achieve very close to human performance. That's why it's become a buzzword. So until this scaled down version is commercially available everywhere, from sea to shining sea and everywhere in between, the constant conflict between convenience and contamination continues.